STEM has become an integral part of our life and is everywhere in how we communicate, travel, eat, work, and even think. However, despite making up half of the population, women's needs are rarely taken into account. A lot of design, research, and production has been based on the assumption that a healthy, able-bodied man represents the whole species. So objects, technologies, spaces have generally been made by men for men. For example, people with physical disabilities have difficulty in accessing public spaces and transport. Women have suffered more side effects from various medicines because the recommended doses were based on clinical trials with mostly men. Even smartphones are designed for men's hands. This shows how underrepresentation and exclusion of certain individuals at the research and design stage affects the products and the people who use them. Many such products that are part of our daily lives have been developed without input from women. This is why we need inclusive design and thinking. Inclusion means to include all. It is not a token addition in numbers, but a representation that voices the concerns, identities, needs, and values of diverse groups. The future of work is STEM-centric. New products and technologies are being developed every day and are entering our life at a fast pace. Science should be open to diversity and multiple perspectives need to come in. Science itself is more accurate when everyone is considered. It is important that there is an equal representation of all kinds of gender in STEM fields and careers. People, irrespective of their gender, should have the agency and should have the right to follow what they want to follow. We need science-based solutions to many, many, many problems that we're having now. So we need more sincere, more hardworking and more uh, imaginative hands on deck.